Hi, I'm Randy Stamper with Hart Trailers. We're going to do things a little different today. Put on your work clothes, we're going to the shop. A trailer is built from the floor up. So we start with the floor and then we'll kind of give you an idea of exactly how it goes together piece by piece. We're going to cover the, the most popular options and uh, maybe some interesting things that you don't even know that we do. Here's a floor, floor bay. Now, I'm going to explain to you what you're looking at, what you see. This is being built upside down, so what you're seeing is underneath the trailer. This floor is constructed of a 9 inch mainframe, 12 inch deck boards that go together kind of like Lincoln Logs. It's a tongue and groove construction. When they are all fitted together and welded, and you'll notice on the far side, the weld is continuously on both sides. When this floor is completed, it'll be flipped over and it will go into a bay over here. From that point, two men will build that trailer from the floor up. All right, you've seen the floor being constructed upside down. We're gonna walk over here and see the floor in the bay. It's right side up now on the axles. This is a finished floor. You know, some manufacturers use a sheeted floor and it has some ripples in it, pops like a pop can. This is actually very, very solid. It creates a unibody. This trailer, the walls are just now going up. These are two small bumper pulls but it shows you the diversity. We go from a living quarter floor to a bumper pull. This is one of our new Smart Tac 2s. This is an option, and I'm gonna show you a completed option a little later. Primitive stages. You can see the welds, all the detail that goes into to manufacturing that. Gives you great access to all your tack right here from the side of your trailer. You can tie your horse here, all your tack here. It's, it's a great option. You know, we build everything by hand here. This is really, really custom manufacturing. There's no automation. There's no assembly line. We have many different widths of trailers, anywhere from six, eight wide to eight wide. So obviously those gooseneck assemblies are gonna vary. You'll see some that just have the, the single gusset, and then you'll notice some will have double gussets. If you ever wonder why, any trailer over 26 foot long will have a double gusset. Gives you more stability, more control different models, different options, different colors. Real popular new color that we come out with is the matte black. This is a low pro club calf trailer. While we've got it here to look at, I wanna talk about our um, bent boxes that we install underneath the nose. People are very uh, concerned about the comfort and the, and the health of the animals that they haul. These club calf people, they, proud of the hair on them calves. They need air when they're going down the road. This allows them more airflow, more circulation. And it's not something that we bought uh, an aftermarket. That's a box that we built. So again, as custom as it comes. Here's a, a good example of solution model trailer. This is a two horse slant gooseneck. Has drop down windows on the head side with safety bar grills. On this rump side, we've got the, the vented sides. You can install plexiglass in that. A very small but functional dressing room. Again, everybody likes these blankets out here. It doesn't take up floor space. When you open the door, they're right there and handy. That gets everything out here where you can access it. Now, if you can picture or imagine Pulling this behind a half ton, short bed pickup. One of the things that most people would consider or call um, controversial about our trailers, I've heard people say they've got a plastic roof, they've got a fiberglass roof. Nobody seems to really know what we use. We're gonna clue you in today. We use what is called a fiberglass composite panel. It's a polypropylene honeycomb core has gel coat fiberglass exterior, fiberglass on the interior. It comes in one piece 
There's no joints, no seams, lightweight. You really can't appreciate it till you lay your hands on it. When you lay your hand on that fiberglass and lay your hands on aluminum, there's no comparison as far as the heat transfer or the cold transfer. This is by far the coolest roof you can put on a horse trailer. On a 100 degree day, this trailer will be 20 degrees cooler than a trailer with aluminum roof. We're gonna move over to the trim area. It's where they start looking a little bit like a trailer. What we're gonna find here in the, in the trim area, once that trailer comes in here, First thing that's gonna happen, they're gonna cut it, all the rubber matting for it. Again, more features or options, I should say. Here's a, a full rear tack. When you can open those doors up and everything is right here in the rear. Gives you a lot of storage. As you go down through here, you see them a little further along. This trailer's got lights, logos, decals, DOT tape. Starting to look like a finished trailer. All right, I'm gonna show you something here that you're not gonna see ever. This living quarter shell, has a quarter inch aluminum plate wrapped in this nose. As you know, when you set this trailer on the truck, this area of the trailer wants to compress. This keeps that nose from moving at all. You won't see any flex in the sheets, but you can't understand just how massive that is. And that's the entire nose will be plated with quarter inch. We've got two different options on dividers. You'd have the standard conventional solid divider where this is uh, sheeted. This is a very popular option though, especially in the uh, hotter climates, is that bar or flow through divider. Lets the air move through the trailer easier. Also see the lower stud divider, which is solid, one piece with the divider. Here's another feature we haven't seen today. This is what we call side rear tack. The only difference, side tack, rear tack, get a little bigger door here, maintain a larger door, entry door for the horse there. This has been popular for several years. The manger feature, depending upon the size of the trailer, depending upon axle placement, you have two large access doors. Anything that's above the fenders, you'll have this small access door. Now that's available on any tradition model. And for those of you that have a lot of tack, need a lot of tack, need a lot of tack room. This is for you. This is the side load, full rear tack. As you can see, it's fully carpeted, insulated, lots of bridle hooks. Saddle racks are adjustable. Can't let this go by without showing it. Our number one best-selling trailer is our smart tack. To this day, you will see more smart tacks in the building than any other model, whether it be in a stock combo or a three horse or four horse. The options are unlimited here. You've got 12 blanket trees, you've got six saddle racks, multiple bridle hooks everywhere they go, bell boot hooks. Everything is accessible from the floor. Years ago, I remember you had to step up in the dressing room to get your saddle out. Here, everything's right here from the ground. Come out with the Smart Tag 2 not too long ago, a few months ago. It's just a condensed version of the Smart Tag. For the lamb and, and hog people, build a great pin system. Have the 6040 convertible pins. You can build this in a six pin, eight pin, 10 pin, you name it, whatever the need, we can build you a trailer. Come standard 6'4 tall. Pins are 52 inches wide. Depending upon width, be anywhere from 40 inches wide to 48 inches wide. We're building an all aluminum trailer, if there is such a thing. I mean, there obviously are some components that you cannot make out of aluminum. We buy all the material, we build it in-house, we're not buying a kit. We don't want to buy anything that we can manufacture, anything that we can build, we want to build it. This is an example. We're building these gooseneck trolleys, these hitches. And when I say a trolley, you know, you have the axles. They actually go onto a trolley bolted in place to guarantee them to be square. These are bolted to the mainframe. We believe in quality. We believe in doing things one way. That's the very best that we know how. And uh, we uphold and, and uh, relish that heritage that we have. 52 years here in this location, uh, we're proud of what we're building. I think that does it for me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the little short plant tour. That's a nickel tour. If you want to see more, I'd love to give you your personal tour here at Hard Trailers.